Okay, hi. So the first thing that you need to know when you're applying to UMKC six-year med program is that there's two steps in the application. So the first step is fairly simple. It's your normal stats, extracurriculars, recommendations, essays, etc. that you just submit online via a portal. However, what's different with UMKC compared to normal undergrad colleges is that there's a second phase of the application. So for UMKC, the admissions board will sit down and review the applicants and approximately a third of the whole or all of the applicants who apply to the program will be selected to move on to phase two, which is an interview day. I'll be talking more about the interview day and how I stood out and come I got in a separate video, but today I'm going to be focusing more on your application. So I'll be sharing my stats, essays, and some advice that I want to share with students who are looking to apply to the program. And then comments that I received on my application from the admissions officers of why they selected me to get into the program. Disclaimer for the stats, it's not everything. Honestly speaking, it, it's really more about your whole personal story of why you want to go into medicine. So don't focus too much on the stats, but I know that people will like seeing other people's stats that got in. I was in the same boat when I was applying for colleges and programs, and it's just kind of fun to see other people's stats, but don't take it too seriously because I think there's other more important things that should be focused on in the application, but there are some stats that I do think have more value than others or more weight in your application. I'll be talking about that too. So yeah, now I'm gonna go whip out my laptop and show you guys my stats and my whole application. So my stats, my ACT score was a 35 and the average ACT score of an accepted UMKC applicant is a 32. I was ranked third out of 697 students in my high school with a weighted GPA of 105.763. The average weighted GPA of an admitted UMKC med student is 3.9, but I don't have access to my unweighted GPA because it wasn't on my transcript and um, my school did not do grades on a 4.0 scale, rather they did it on a 100 point scale. That's just what it is. My SAT chem subject test was a 780. My SAT world history test subject test was 800. I was a national AP scholar, which means that I received at least a four on all of my AP exams and have scored a four or higher on at least eight of these exams. And for reference, I took 16 AP classes in high school. So those are my stats. And some advice I have for students is that I think that your GPA and your ranking matter more in importance than your ACT or SAT scores or your standardized testing scores. And the reason for that is because that shows a better view of your academic strengths since that's an accumulation of your hard work within four years whereas as an ACT or SAT score is just one test. People say that ranking and GPA don't hold as much weight but I strongly disagree with this when applying to combined med programs. Maybe it doesn't matter for undergrad colleges as much but I do think it matters a lot for med programs because a main part of medical school is studying and um, they want you to be a successful student within their program so you will stay on because the main concern within these combined especially accelerated programs is students dropping out so you need to show them that you won't drop out you are prepared to handle the rigor of the classes that they offer um, an accelerated amount of time because you are shaving off two years of your um, med school process. Okay, so I'm looking through my application now and I'm gonna show you the short responses or the essays that they want that I submitted on my application. You can pause the video and I'll show you specifically what I wrote. Okay. Don't judge me for my writing. I do not claim to be a good writer. I was cringing really hard as I read these, but you can have these for a basis. Um, so the first prompt was, what motivates you to pursue a career in medicine? What would you like the UMKC School of Medicine to know about you that isn't available in other parts of this application? But basically, in summary of the first prompt, 
I talked about um, how in sophomore year of high school, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and that significantly affected my health. Um, I gained a lot of weight. I was really lethargic. My ranking in grades kind of dropped a little bit, and um, how that really affected me. And then, so I tried to learn about the disease itself. And at the time, I was teaching a class in anatomy and physiology. And so I studied more about that disease. And then from there, I took more action and I got accepted into a research program at UC Southwestern Medical Center. And I did research based on autoimmune diseases and immunology and trying to use that sort of technology. And the second, was in the context of diversity and inclusion describe interactions you've had with someone different than you and what did you learn in this response i talked to me and they about um, how i went and volunteered as a preschool teacher at native american reservation in new mexico and the experiences i learned with the different children there and how they live completely different lives than me and then the next prompt was how have you exhibited resiliency in your aspect of life? So I did a lot of rowing, competitive rowing, but then I had to stop. It was really disheartened because I dedicated a lot of time to rowing, but then now I had to stop, so I was lost, and then I kind of found myself doing other things. And then uh, the last prompt was, reflecting on your social media activity within the last year, what are some potential positive and negative effects on your professional career? And this is where I described um, at high school, there was a really inappropriate video that went viral on social media and how that affected our school. And it made me really realize the importance of like what you post on social media. Okay, moving on to my high school activities. They gave you only 10 activities that you could put down. So the first one I put down is um, like the South Bay Kids Interested in Leadership Internship or Youth Leadership Award. And I put in a little bit of a description, but basically it was a leadership program within my city. And then I got the bronze medalist in the Presidential Volunteer Service Award, which is basically I volunteered uh, more than 100 hours. And then I put a state qualifier in VEX Robotics Competition. And then I started this political club at my high school. And then I put all of the medals that I had won while I was rowing. Um, so I was in a Korean American Science and Engineering Award Scholarship, and it's basically a program in which you go to Washington, D.C., and then you talk to Nobel laureates, and like we did a project with NASA. And the last thing that I put under my high school activities is that I got a gold medal in for December. It was basically a computer programming competition. Okay, but I don't think those are that important. So then the next section of your application, you have 10 slots to describe your health experiences. So working at a hospital, volunteer, research, etc. So the first thing that I listed was the medical academy that I was in within my school. And this I think is really important if you, your school has a medical academy, a club, uh, some sort of medical program that's offered at your school, 100%. If you want to go into UMKC's med program, do it because like I said before, they want to show that you're really committed to going into medicine and that you've put in the work, made the effort. This isn't uh, on the whim. Decision to apply to medical school, you've been thinking about it for a long time and you kind of have some experience. If this is not offered at your school, one thing that you can consider doing is uh, starting or forming some sort of club or a medical interest club or something like that. And then the second thing that I talked about is my research. So I did um, science teachers access to research at UT Southwestern Medical Center, AKA STARS. And if you are from the DFW region or if you're from Texas, I highly, highly, highly recommend applying to this program. Um, it's basically an opportunity for 11th graders in Texas, sorry, it's only Texas, to get a paid internship the summer before your senior year. And I believe I was paid $4,000, which is pretty significant because most research programs, you have to pay to do it, but this one stars specifically you, uh, they paid you for your work. I gave my public poster presentation at the medical school 
I showed the title and I talked about the research and that's what I was talking about earlier on in my essay when I uh, decided to take the initiative and do more research based on the illness that I had. And then the next thing that I listed is another research project that I did. Uh, it was about lactic acid and sampling at a hospital. And then the last thing was physician shadowing. Um, and I talked about how I shadowed a physician at a private medical clinic. And honestly, on the med program, part of the curriculum was to shadow a physician, so it was kind of included. These two things, the medical academy and my research, um, I think were key components for my essay. So now I'm going to go over the comments that the admissions officers put on my application and um, what they liked about my application. So the admissions officer stated that they liked how I had good grades in ACT scores, but also emphasized the fact that I took challenging classes in high school. So I challenged myself in high school and took kind of the highest level classes that I could. Another thing that she liked is that I had medical experience so um, it kind of shows that I understood what being a doctor is all of, about and I don't have an, an idealized view of what being a doctor is and I know both the good stuff but also the bad stuff. Another thing that they said is that they were pretty impressed with my leadership activities because um, it kind of showed more initiative. They were really impressed with my research especially having it be at UT Southwestern Medical Center because that is um, a top medical school and research facility so that's kind of a big name and it stood out. Um, I had good teacher recommendations, they are impressed with my volunteer activities, um, and they were also impressed with my medals from rowing. You want to do a lot of medical related stuff in order to show that you are truly interested in being a doctor and you don't just have an idealized view. The way you can do this is by taking medical classes. So if you have any um, medical related courses offered at your high school or some sort of medical academy or a medical club or interest group, um, to take that because it shows your true interest in the field of medicine. And another thing that also shows some interest and commitment is doing research. And I do think research is a key, key, key thing. It's very important for applying to these sorts of programs. Um, the fact is every, a lot of programs just really like research. So that's something that you should do, but also try to make it more personalized and stuff that you're actually interested in because then it'll be more fun and interesting to actually do the research and it stands out more in building your story as an applicant. And then not only just focus on medical related stuff, but do, if you're interested in other leadership activities outside, so something I was interested in was like political work and activities, that makes you stand out a lot more, especially when you're applying for an out of state. I would reflect on how you want to present yourself as a person to the um, program and center your application around a certain story. So for reference, my story was I was really active, I wrote a lot, I was really committed to rowing, but then all of a sudden I got into a really bad car crash, and then I had an autoimmune, and then I got Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and then I had to stop rowing, and I was devastated, but then I was able to focus that energy into good use, and I took initiative, and I studied more about the disease, and then I took it a step farther, and I actually did research pertaining to autoimmune illnesses. That was kind of like the story I built, so you put that in your essays and you show that in your kind of activities and I'll talk about this more in the next video but you kind of talk about that in the interview and that makes you stand out.